guys welcome back to my channel I'm Devin if you're new here today's video is gonna be all about what I ate for dinner over the past week a ton of these recipes are ones that are kind of on a weekly rotation so you might have heard me talk about them before but this video is really just to give you some inspiration to spice up your dinners maybe switch it up a little bit if you guys know of anyone on YouTube who makes videos similar to this and just has a bunch of dinner ideas let me know who they are because I am kind of having a little bit of decision fatigue when picking out what I want to eat every single day of my life help me out by commenting that below but let's get into it also if you guys are new I'm Devin I don't know if I said that but subscribe to my channel I'm posting every day in the month of June and I would love to have you guys here with me I post a bunch of lifestyle content food content we're gonna be trying a few new recipes all in the city of San Diego on this first day I was really craving some chipotle bowls so I decided to make some at home for this one you'll need chicken breast or thighs rice Trader Joe's fire roasted peppers and corn salsa cheese yogurt seasonings whatever toppings you would like and first you're gonna preheat your oven or toaster oven or whatever it is to 450 You're gonna pat dry your chicken and add all of your seasonings. My typical season medley is like garlic powder, onion powder, Tony Sauchery's, paprika, salt, and I think that could be it. I put also a little bit of olive oil and massage it in there with my fingers, which, ew, but you gotta do it. And then you're gonna place the chicken in the oven for 20 minutes. Next, we wanna get our rice going. So you're gonna wash your rice. Make sure you're washing it until the water is clear when you pour it out. For this, I basically just follow the instructions that are on the bag. I typically like using the Trader Joe's like frozen rice, but they didn't have any and they haven't had any the past few times I've gone. So I just had to get a bag of rice and follow the instructions. It takes a little bit longer, but it tastes just as good. Next, we're gonna cook our corn and our peppers on the stove. I put them on like medium high heat and cook them for about five minutes. Finally, once your chicken is done cooking, you're gonna wanna broil it for two minutes. You really need to keep your eyes on your chicken on this one because you obviously don't want it to burn but broiling it just gives it that nice like crispy shell after everything is done cooking you're gonna let your chicken sit for about 10 minutes this just makes sure that all the juices are like stuck in there and they it doesn't become dry and once that 10 minutes is up you can chop it up and then assemble your bowl put a bed of rice I put some chicken and then I add in my peppers and my corn I also really love sour cream but a life hack is that Greek yogurt tastes exactly like sour cream so much more beneficial for you <laughs> the next recipe I'm sure you guys have seen before it is my sweet potato tacos the way that I cook the sweet potatoes in this recipe is how I always cook my sweet potatoes even for the future recipes in this video so just remember the way that I cook them because I'm gonna reference back to this basically I just chop them up and here is my little secret I put them in a big microwave safe bowl and I put them in the microwave for three minutes. I personally want my potatoes to be crispy on the outside but still soft on the inside and not like dry and this ensures that they stay soft on the inside. So after they come out of the microwave for three minutes I will coat them in a little bit of olive oil along with my seasonings. I do garlic powder, onion powder, Tony Sauchery's and I think that's it. And I mix it all up and I add them to my pan. I cook them at 400 for 30 minutes but I set an additional timer for 15 minutes because I want to come and check on them at the 15 minute mark. While those are being cooked, I'll chop up my onions and I'll also drain my beans. What you need to do with the beans is keep the bean water, keep the bean juice, <laughs> as nasty as that sounds, but it'll come into play a little bit later. You're going to cook your onions on like medium heat until they're translucent with some extra virgin olive oil or I personally use avocado oil, doesn't really matter. And then you're going to add in half of your can of beans. This is really just personal preference. I don't like my refried beans to be super mash like I want there to be some whole beans in there so if you like it like that then cook it like this but if you don't like it like that then kind of tailor this to how you like it but I will put half of my can of beans in there and mash them up completely it will be basically like a paste and then I'll add in the rest and I'll just fold those in there because I want some like Whole beans after I've gotten the consistency that I like it'll be a little bit thick and I'm going to turn down the heat and then add a little bit of the bean liquid you don't need to add in all of the bean juice but I would say maybe like a tablespoon or two because you definitely don't want it to be watery now you should be reaching the 15 minute mark on your potatoes so you're gonna take them out and kind of mess them up a little bit rotate them but after you do that you're gonna place them back into the oven for 15 more minutes 
and then you'll be done. Once your potatoes are fully cooked, they should be nice and crispy and you can assemble your tacos. Yeah. Really, it's pretty similar to the last recipe, kind of similar vibes, but I don't know why I was craving both of them. Next, this is probably my favorite recipe that I made. It's also a new recipe to me personally. I made some turkey burgers, and you'll need one pound of ground turkey, Brussels sprouts, and carrots, and obviously whatever seasonings you use, and then whatever is in the blog post for the turkey burgers. I did get this turkey burger recipe from a blog post, so I'm gonna link that down below, but one of the notes that I had on there is they call for Worcestershire sauce on that one and I don't have that I don't know many people who actually do have that unless you're like a mom or something but I put soy sauce in there because I saw a few notes and comments that people use soy sauce and it works just as well so that's what I did and it ended up being delicious if you follow any recipe on this video let it be that one As for the vegetables, I cooked them the exact same way that I cooked my sweet potatoes by cutting them and then putting them in the microwave for three minutes and then putting them in the oven at 400 for 30 minutes, stirring them halfway. This recipe was definitely pretty involved just because of the turkey burgers, but they made so much and I loved this one. This next recipe is probably my easiest one yet and one that I need some help on because I was still hungry after I ate it. I was just feeling so lazy, didn't want to do anything, and I had some salmon that I needed to cook. So I pulled it out of the fridge, put some everything but the bagel seasoning on it along with Trader Joe's vegan chickenless chicken salt I think is what it's called and put it in the oven at 365 for 20 minutes I love when I cook salmon like this I think it tastes so good and flavorful and it's so easy but I really wasn't feeling like cooking anything else so I just put it on a bed of spring mix and then added this Trader Joe's vegan Caesar dressing I'm not vegan there's just some things that I think taste better and I think that is one of the things that just tastes so much better but what do you guys put on your salads like I need some Thing on my salad that will make me feel more full I'm thinking maybe some sweet potatoes because I don't really like regular potatoes but I know that sweet potatoes always make me feel pretty full and they make me feel like not bloated so what other things do you put on your salad I don't know I'm not a big fan of quinoa I think I would just much rather have rice but I don't know if rice would go on that so let me know what you guys put on your salads because I need to know this last recipe is again a salmon dish and this time with teriyaki sauce for this one you'll need salmon sweet potatoes broccoli and Trader Joe's soyaki sauce first I cook the sweet potatoes how I've been cooking all of the veggies cubing them and putting them in the microwave for three minutes and then putting them in the oven at 400 for 30 minutes stirring them halfway through with all of my seasonings and olive oil on them that was a mouthful And then I pat dry my thawed salmon and added it to a warmed up pan. You definitely want it to get a nice crust on it. So I make sure that it's already warm. I put like hover my hand over it just to make sure. Because I want it to be like nice and crispy on the outside. I don't put any seasoning on my salmon actually at all in this recipe. Because I feel like this soyaki sauce is already very flavorful. And I don't want to overdo it. I feel like I'm super sensitive to too many flavors. I'll cook it on one side for five minutes. And and then I'll turn it over. I also put the skin side up when I first put it down and then I'll flip it, cook it for another five minutes and then I'll cook the sides as well 
for about three minutes each because I don't want it to get too tough on the outside but I want it to be cooked all the way through after I feel like it's gotten a good crisp on all sides I'll turn the stove down to really low like the lowest it can go and pour over the soyaki sauce at the very last minute and I'll let it simmer there until the potatoes are done I wanted to add a few more veggies into this meal and I had some frozen broccoli so you could cook this on the stove but I personally just am a fan of doing things the fast way so I put them in the microwave for four minutes and that makes them perfectly steamed for me you have to cover them so that the steam really like builds up in there but once that's done and the salmon's done and the sweet potatoes are done I just plated it all up and enjoyed it all right guys that's gonna be it for my week of dinners I hope you all enjoyed this and maybe got some inspo for your next dinner if you guys liked any of these recipes comment down below which one was your favorite also comment down below any youtubers that you really like their recipes or any recipes you enjoy and then finally this emoji if you're watching to this point again so subscribe to my channel I have a ton of videos coming this month about um, 30 so <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying them so far and I will see you guys tomorrow bye